I'm going to show you how to do projectiles problems with vectors. Check out my other video for projectiles problems without vectors too. In the video game's boss fight, cannonballs are fired from a ship from point A 3 meters above sea level. Immediately after being shot, the ball has a velocity of 4i plus 6j meters per second. It travels freely under gravity until it strikes a sea monster. Find the greatest height reached by the ball above sea level. Because I'm dealing with projectiles, I can do my horizontal and vertical components separately. So I'm going to do my vertical components for section A, and I'm going to take upwards as positive. The displacement is what I'm trying to calculate. The initial vertical velocity is just J component of the vector, so this would be 6 meters per second. The final velocity would be 0, because at greatest height, the velocity is equal to 0 temporarily, and the acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared, because I've taken upwards as positive. The equation that links these variables is V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. If I substitute in, I get 0 equals 36 plus 2 times negative 9.8 times S which rearranges to 19.6 s is equal to 36 and s is equal to 1.83 and so on meters. This is not the greatest height yet, however. I have to add this offset of 3 meters as well. So therefore, the greatest height is equal to 3 plus 1.83 and so on meters, which is 4.84 meters rounded to three significant figures. Part B, the speed of the cannonball as it strikes the monster. This word should jump out at you because it is a scalar quantity. So we need the vertical and horizontal components of the velocity at the end of the motion. So for part B, the horizontal component, there's no acceleration in the horizontal direction. Therefore, the horizontal velocity is just equal to 4 meters per second because that is what was given to me in the vector. Now with my vertical motion, I'm going to take downwards as positive. So the displacement is equal to 3 meters. The initial velocity is negative 6 meters because we're going upwards. The final velocity is what I want to calculate and the acceleration is now 9.8. If I do v squared equals u squared plus 2as again, I get that v squared is equal to 94.8. And I'm going to leave the answer as v squared because then I have to use Pythagoras in the last stage. So my horizontal velocity component is 4 meters per second. And the vertical velocity component is the square root of 94.8 meters per second. The speed is just the magnitude of the velocity. So therefore the speed is the square root of 4 squared plus 94.8, which is equal to 10.5 meters per second to three significant figures. And this is how you would do a vector's projectile question.